Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, everybody. Oh, sorry, don't mind the writing on my hand. I was doing a joke with my kids last night. <laughs> um, anyway, so it is early in the morning and I'm trying to not be too loud because everybody else is still asleep and I wanted to get this done before anybody else got up because I don't know if I'll be able to have any time later when they do. So I know I haven't done like a budgeting video in quite a while or a cash stuffing or anything but things have just been going on and I just went ahead and just stuffed everything um, off camera. Um, I've just been so frustrated with, with things here lately. So I've been helping my daughter pay for her doctor appointments and then she's got more here so I've really got to crack down on helping her and getting stuff done um and then I've also been trying to figure out how to make some more income there's actually been someone um that's been ordering food from me so I actually have been trying to get things ready for that and then uh, I really should have stayed away from any Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. I really should have, but that's the last time I am getting anything. I ordered a few things from Betty's and Budgets. I did. I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I have been wanting some of her stuff for quite some time, and I took advantage of this sales that she had so I'm waiting on those things to come in and when I get them uh, of course I'm going to show you guys <laughs> so um because I really need to get the ball rolling on this and I want to try to figure out how to really get more income come to you know so I can start saving more and not have to worry about um, you know, how I can help pay for things. So I had to remove things from my other challenges and use that to, I, I don't have a save an uh, emergency fund anymore. That's, that's gone. I used that to help pay for her stuff. So Hopefully after today's appointment, um, and I'm not the only one that's helping to pay for her. Of course, her dad is helping and we got some money from grandparents. So, because it's a pretty hefty bill. But after this should be, um, should be it for a while. So... Anywho, I'm going to go in and um, plan on December's budget. Okay, so I've already got stuff written down in here. Um, I am paid weekly for those of you that don't know. Um, by the way, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Janie. And I have been... I just started cash stuffing a couple of months ago and budgeting and I also do some random vlogging on this channel so um, yeah just some surprises there <laughs> anywho so I've already started writing some things down here I my phone bill last you know for November was 120 and I looked it up and it's going to be 120 again for December. 
so I'm like what the heck there was like unexpected things taken out I have uh, I think December is when my phone itself will actually be paid off and I'll only be paying for the service and fees so it'll be lower than this in January I hope and I'm still trying to find a, a different service, but that might have to wait a while. But we'll see after my phone is paid off and um, what happens with that. So, um, and I had written it down here <clears throat> uh, because that was the old amount, like 102 that was in when was that September and I don't know I don't know it just keeps seems to be going up every month I don't know but <clears throat> if it goes up any more than this in December I I don't know what I'm gonna do luckily I had enough in my account for that to be taken out anyway <clears throat> here I had um, I had put my audible on pause but I went ahead and just canceled it because I just canceled it. <laughs> I can deal with it later. And then my sister-in-law, I owe her money at the end here. Um, toilet paper. I buy toilet paper from Who Gives a Crap online. And it's like a subscription thing and you get a box of 42 rolls. And I deliver it. So that's going to be coming out here. Um, on the 7th. That's, that's, that's when it's going to be coming out and delivered. So, And I, you know, I get paid weekly. So with this budget that I have right now, I actually, I got paid today. Actually, this is November 30th, right? Yeah. So I got paid today, and I got paid, I don't remember the exact amount, but we're going to go off of $500. Okay, that's what I'm going to work with for this week. I got paid extra because I worked on Thanksgiving. So, yeah, working on Thanksgiving at a grocery store. You wouldn't believe that it would be that busy, but it, you know, it was crazy. <sighs> and you know, okay, rant time. <laughs> <clears throat> so many people would go through the lines while we're working and they would tell us cashiers, oh, I'm so sorry that you have to work. You know what? We're working on that holiday because people like them decide they want to go shopping on that day. Seriously, if nobody had to go shopping on a holiday or wanted to go out and do things on a holiday, then we would be able to be home with our families too. Businesses would be closed. You know, I mean, but at the same time, I have to think about other people that make sacrifices too and have to be away from their families on the holidays, you know. We have like military especially and then you know doctors and um you know first responders whoever you know because they need to be around in case of an accident or emergency or whatever i get that i get that you know and they get well the military doesn't really get paid all the big bucks but you know they do have like benefits and everything but uh, I don't know it's sometimes it's hard to see it both ways but at this you know I complain about having to work and not be around my family but then I think about those that you know sacrifice their their time as well so I don't know if that made any sense I just kind of went off <laughs> anyway but yeah, it's just, it's hard sometimes. 
So, then my daughter had to work too. Well, my son and I both had to work um, Thanksgiving. And then my daughter, she had to work as well. She had to close. Can you imagine that? The grocery store was only open half a day. But my daughter works at the movie theater and she had to close. She went in in the afternoon and had to close. So I'm like, really? <sighs> People need to be watching movies at home. <laughs> I am fun anyway. Uh, please don't hate me for any of that, because I do see it both ways. I grew up in a military family. My my ex husband was army as well, so I know, you know. And then, like I mentioned before, like the doctors and things, and whoever else is, you know has an essential job but it's just hard it is anyway back to this <laughs> so I'm working on $500 I really wish I could find my tripod I'm so sorry if I keep moving around too much I try to keep it as still as possible Anyway, okay, oh, hold on just a second. Um, okay, I'm back. So, $500, and then, so 200 has to go to my car, $60 to pay off my credit card. Okay, so that's two things. And then, I need to do groceries, oops. I've been helping out with $50 a week for groceries, and this is weekly, so that's $200 a month that I'm helping with groceries. And then, what else do I need? $40 for gas, and that's for the whole, let's see. Do I want to do that? Because I only been I've only been filling up like once a month because I don't really go anywhere, and my place of work is only like ten miles away, or ten minutes away, which isn't very far at all. <laughs> so forty dollars will last me all month. The full tank will last me all month. So I can I can budget for gas. And then, um, oh, right now I need to pay my sister-in-law. So that's 105. So let's see where we're at with that. So we've got minus 200. We'll leave me with 300. Minus 60 leaves me with 240. Minus 50, that's 190. Minus 40 for gas, that's 150. And then 105 leaves me with, oops, not even 100. That's 90. No, what am I thinking? Hello, math. Use my new calculator. 150 minus 105. 45. That leaves me with $45. $45 that I can use for other themes. Um... So I need to help. Well, I'm going to save up. So, okay. So 20 of this will go to her bills, her medical bills. I'm going to save up um, for that in my, you know what? I have an extra... 
gonna use this old old one here this I don't know was my income this was gonna be for my no not that one I'll just use an empty envelope here so I can help save up um, what I can for that for her so that'll leave me with $25 to put towards my savings. My emergency fund has nothing. So this $20 is gonna go to emergency. And that leaves me with five that I can put, let's see. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed my binder here. I changed things around and hopefully they'll stay this way. <laughs> I've just been, you know how starting out you want all these new things, you want have all these categories and blah blah blah. But I, this now is my high priority sinking funds. And I used Look at that. I use one of my dashboards that I made. This is $10 savings challenge, which is also my emergency fund. So this is where that $10 is going to go. Let's see. I have birthdays, forever home. This one's going to come out because I ordered a new home binder from Baddies and Budgets. Hopefully that'll be around tomorrow. I'm supposed to be receiving it tomorrow is what the, uh, according to the tracking with USPS. <laughs> so I can't wait. Um, vision, let's see, where do I want to put that $5? Probably healthcare. Oh, concert tickets. Yes, I put concert tickets and because still waiting for that concert and I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Do I want to put it in there? New truck. I also want a new truck and I want to try to get that as quickly as possible. <clears throat> so if I get a new truck, I'm going to have to save up for insurance. So which one is more important to me? <laughs> It might be quicker. You know what? My car still works. It's good. I'm going to go with the concert tickets. So I'll put it in the concert tickets. Yes. Because, I, you know, some things you're just, you know, some, some things. <laughs> so, concert tickets. That's where they're going to go. <clears throat> So I need to figure out how much I'm going to be pulling out. This stuff here is through the bank, you know, online. This stuff, bank, I can transfer. So I only need to pull out $90, right? 90, oh, so. 50, 40, 20, oh, the 45. So 135, right? <coughs> so the groceries. The gas, and then that leftover 45 for the bills, my emergency fund, and that. So, yeah, 135. Anywho, so that's my budget. So, I'm going to be taking out 135 for this month. You know what, let me mark off my paydays. I get, this is every week. I didn't highlight these when I wrote them down. 
I guess it's kind of a good thing that I can see what I need to pay. So that's bill, car every week. I am paying off my car, uh, not paying off my car, but I need to catch up on my car payments because I am so far behind. The last time I looked at it, I was $1,500 behind. So if I make $200 a week, uh, in payments that's two four six eight a thousand dollars for December I can catch up a little bit um, I think I figured out that if I pay that much I'll be at least caught up by I think it was March <laughs> that's how far behind I am and it's terrible so the blue is my bills. Oh, and my phone, my stupid phone. I want to switch carriers so bad. Ugh. And then, uh, and then my sister-in-law. I'm gonna give her a different color just because. <laughs> But anyway, I'm sorry about all of the movement on the, on the video. I'll try better next time to get it better. But anyway, I'm going to go now. The video is this ended up kind of long. But um, next video, I will be actually doing my, my short little cash stuffing there. And hopefully I will um, get my my you know my mail <laughs> I'll show you my mail and then I'll do my cash stuffing in the next video so I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will talk to you next time okay bye